What if you had a lens so strong it could compete with a microscope? QGraphX. The Laowa 100mm f2.8 CA Dreamer is a 2 to 1 macro lens, which is quite an interesting option. It is a manual lens with a portrait friendly 100mm. It's built kind of weird, with the front element moving inside the lens barrel. It's the first time I've seen this weird lens design, and more on that later. It's also a macro lens with an amazing 2 to 1 magnification ratio, and that is a lot. The standard Canon 100mm 2.8, which is considered a great macro lens, only boasts a 1 to 1 ratio, so the Laowa provides twice as much magnification. But how close is 2 to 1? Here are some shots showing how close 2 to 1 really is. An LED light, a toothpick, a ballpoint pen, and a circuit board. Here's a picture of my eye. If we zoom, we can see just how crazy the details are. This was shot at f6.3 one hundredths of a second at ISO 4000. Of course, with a 2 to 1 magnification ratio, you have to be very close to your subject, which means a very shallow depth of field. I had to fix both my head and the camera to nail focus on this. Every millimeter in any direction throw the focus off at this magnification. Here is the same photo from the Canon 100mm. It really puts the magnification into perspective. Let's zoom in on both. Remember, the Laowa was way closer to my eye than the Canon. This lens is not just a great macro lens though. We also took it outside for a quick portrait spin. I love it. It is crisp with great micro contrast and got a creamy, super unique bokeh with great colors. It is manual. So just make sure you're willing to work a little harder to nail your shot. It is also incredibly sharp. We shot these portraits at f3.5, Q Forensics. See this portrait? Zoom in on her face. Okay, I see something in the glasses. Zoom in. Now enhance. Oh right, that only works in movies. In any case, it's pretty impressive how much detail there is. Let's go back to the studio. The lens feels very solid and kind of heavy, but in a good way. The construction of the lens feels very premium. The other thing I want to mention is the focus ring. The focus travels about 120 degrees, which is usually not enough for Cena. But the pool provides just the right amount of resistance, so it's very easy to control. I think videographers will really appreciate this little touch from Laowa. But buyers beware. Even though we did get the Canon mount, the focus pulls in the opposite direction, like Nikon lenses. It is definitely something you need to get used to. Remember that weird construction thing I talked about earlier? Basically, this lens is kind of like a variable macro tube. The front element of the lens is practically exposed, and at least in our review copy, we had a Laowa UV filter to protect it. You can actually see the front element moving through the entire barrel of the lens. Now, this design has two side effects. The cool one, the lens is flare-free. The lens barrel acts as a huge lens hood in addition to the included lens hood, and the internal coating is amazing. There are no flares whatsoever. Even if you shine a light directly into the lens, there are no flares. The other effect I would call extreme focus breathing. Because the front element physically moves throughout the lens, that means that the lens is getting closer or further away from the subject. As it does, framing changes. This can lead into a weird focus frame, focus frame kind of dance. It really only becomes apparent if you get close though. I did not find this very annoying, as shooting macro is usually work intensive. But it's a thing to consider. It's worth mentioning that there is a weird light loss that I saw at the extreme magnification end. Just some of the light is being lost. Look at the forehead of Dr. Strange. As we get closer, the light drops by about 30%. I'm not sure why this is happening, but I think that the lens projection is getting significantly bigger than the sensor. Think reverse speed booster. With that being said, macro photography can be pretty demanding. And building a super high quality lens with performance like this 
is quite the achievement. For $449, you get all the benefits of a Super Macro that double as a great portrait lens with a unique look and extra crispness. All in all, we really enjoyed shooting with the 100mm 2.8 from Laowa. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing. Udi Tirosh, DIYP, and I'll be seeing you around.